was just an average kid until an accident changed my life. And since then, nothing's been the same. My friend Ray thinks it's cool. My sister Annie thinks I'm a science project. I can't let anyone else know. Not even my parents. I know the chemical plant wants to find me and turn me into some experiment. But you know something? I guess I'm not so average anymore. I took a strong to the rack. And a chance for a three-point play. But I'll break my free throw. Mm-hmm. I mean, the crowd was going crazy, Al. Big Ray, Big Ray. Can't let that affect me. Gotta make those free throws. Whatever, come over here and help me. I'm not even done telling you about the 11 points I scored in the fourth quarter. Not that I care about stats. I'm not that type of player. Okay, gotcha. Did you want to talk to me about our science project or something? Yeah. We're calling it Ants. Little Creatures, Big Society. Hey, that rings a bell. Didn't we do that in the fifth grade? Sixth. But my idea is we revise it, change it around a little bit, and make it even better, right? Yeah. Wait, their hard exoskeleton makes them adaptable to all climates. That's right, Ray. And the most dangerous ants are the terrier ants of Guadalajara. Genius. Looks like we still have what it takes. Yep. Scoodle? Sure. Now don't worry, I won't touch the green ones. I know that's your turn. <laughs> Just a sec, Al. Hey, Ray. Uh, I gotta go, Al. Hope I just got a pair of new gym shoes I wanna check out before nutrition. Okay, just remember, our project's due Friday. I'm doing the ant farm for our visual aid, but I need you to get the report together. Got it? Okay, got it. Upstairs. Don't worry, all right? Come on, all right. Let's do it. People, I'm afraid when it comes to GC-161 research, I demand we take extreme caution. I'm a stickler when it comes to neatness, thoroughness, and organizing. Having said that, I'd like everyone to keep up the good work in the hope that one day we discover what we're doing and why we're doing it. I guess that's it. Have you logged that out, Gordon? Of course. So, uh, George, uh, tell me, what's the number? <laughs> It's amazing. I've lost over 12 pounds in the last two weeks. This thing is definitely working. It exceeds the potential that I thought it had. It's incredible. Excuse Gordon. us. Mac Kramer, allow me to introduce Lars Fredrickson, the research scientist from our Vienna office I was telling you about. Welcome to the team, Lars. It's um, always nice to have another big brain around here. Thank you, Mr. Mac. In fact, I recently read an article you wrote in the Quarterly about electromagnetic particles. Very interesting. Oh, my particle article. Anyway, for now, Lars will be working with you on all your GC-161 research and reporting directly to me. This way, Lars. Great. Everybody loves Ray. Everybody loves him, but he's supposedly my biology partner. We have to give our oral report the day after tomorrow. Later. Bye. Ray? 
Oh. <laughs> um, does your dad still have that old fiberglass in the garage? Because I could really use them to make the side of my ant farm so I wouldn't have to go buy anything. Nah, I think he gave him the goodwill. Did you see me do my mummy routine? Yeah, I've seen it like 800 times. So did you get that information on the terrier ants? Uh, not yet, but don't worry, okay? Right. Let me know if you need any help, okay? Because if we ace this project, we could bring our grades up to a B. A B, Ray. I don't know if you can use it, but I know I can. Ray, 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 Ray. Those guys. So, I'll talk to you after class. You got it. Hey, upstairs. My father was a contractor, and he used to have a saying, measure twice, cut once. George makes us adopt the same philosophy here. It's obvious you're on top of things here. But how could you be working on this project so long and have no idea as to what the chemical might ultimately be used for? Oh, I've got some ideas. But Danielle would prefer I shut that part of my brain off. I see. I want to help you, George, in any way I can. I really hope you'll consider me a friend and confidant. Open up to me. Let me know what you know. Well, for starters, we're close to a breakthrough. Very, very close. Scooter? And you're keeping it a secret from Miss Atron? Uh, no, not at all. When we have something to report, she'll be the first to know. <laughs> Let's uh, go grab some coffee. Scooter? As you can see, the drones create a series of pathways much like our streets. Now, even though our ant farm has only been around for a few days, you can also see that it doesn't take them very long to get started. Where human beings use architects to build their cities, every common ant has the instinctive ability to design her own community. Right? <laughs> well, the ants are shiny and industrious, and they have a tough exoskeleton which makes them adaptable to any climate. Even though our ants are black, they're red ants, they're beige ants, I think they're even some blue ants. <laughs> and they're really fun to look at, too. Well, back to you, Alex. I guess that's it. There's nothing wrong with a C. It was important, Ray. I told you that. You said the exact same thing about ants that you did in the sixth grade. No, I didn't. Oh, yeah, you threw in the really fun to look at, too. You know, you're supposed to come over to my house last night to rehearse this with me. I know, I was. I was going to, but practice ran late. You know something? You care more about being Big Ray than being a friend I can rely on. Maybe I did make a mistake, and maybe I did get caught up doing other things. But what about you? What kind of friend are you? I mean, you might show up to one of my games this year, which will ever know, and you haven't seen us play once. I have a life too, Ray. I can't just follow you around from game to game. I'm not asking you to follow me around. I'm asking you to come to one game. Are you too busy for that? Well, maybe we're just drifting apart or something. Oh, bye. Bye? Mr. Fredericks. Tell me that you're here to confirm my suspicions about George Mack and the GC-161 research. Are you a mind reader or a good judge of people? <laughs> I hired you, didn't I? Besides, you heard the man himself. He's lost 12 pounds in two weeks. I think George Mack is obviously experimenting on himself with GC-161 without letting me know about it. Maybe. I'm not sure I trust those two. Kramer told me that they were close to a breakthrough. What's wrong with that? Think about it. They realize how big GC-161 is? What's to stop them from going to your competitors and selling them the GC formula? That's undermining everything that you've worked for. I see your point. I'll call Vince. May I interrupt? I'm not sure we need security on this. I'll find out exactly what Mac knows, and then I'll ensure that he doesn't go anywhere with it. Do what needs to be done. It works 
every time. The fact that you're morphing with other things means that you're changing the molecular structure of inanimate objects. If it works with books, wouldn't it work with another person, too? Possibly. But it's way too dangerous to try. Come on, Annie, don't you want to see? No, Alex, because there's no guarantee that either of us would get back whole. Let's think of something else. Not now. But these tests are important. I know, but there's something more important I have to go do. And I'm late as it is. Just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, to hang on to your ticket stubs tonight, because they're worth two free mini donuts at Wayne's Wigwam in the Paradise Valley Mall. Wayne's Wigwam, serving coffee, donuts, and smiles since 1988. Right, we've got eight seconds left. Basket takes us to OT. It's time we hitch our wagons to the horse we call Ray Alvarado. Get him the ball. We'll let Ray take us to the promised land. Let's get some hands. Break. Woo! All right, let's stay focused, boys. I smell victory. Let's do it. Butter's getting hard and the eggs are getting cold. It's Katie bar the door time at Lafonso Ellis Memorial. So batten down the hatches, because we got a real barn burn. Pittsville foul by Mitch Gunderson. With Atron down by two, it's Raymond Alvarado to shoot two for a chance to put us into overtime. Shooting two, Ray, shooting two. Ray. Are you happy now? Oh, uh, what do you mean? Why would you make me miss that shot? I finally get a little attention, and does it bother you that much? Me making you miss that shot? So you're saying you didn't make me miss the shot? Ray, you can't be serious. And you know what, Alex? Our friendship is over. What'd you have for number 11? A over B equals X. X? I got four. You know, I'm sure this whole Ray thing will blow over. He's going through some changes right now. He's just finding himself. Maybe. But then again, people move on. I mean, no one ever said you had to be best friends with the same person your entire life. People change. Don't talk about you and Ray not being friends anymore. It's more than my fragile psyche can take. It's hard to explain. He's accusing me of some really weird stuff. Hey, where'd all the green ones go? Oh, I ate them. They're my favorite kind. Yes, Miss Atron, I'm glad you called. Not to worry. I was able to print out all of Mac's research notes last night. They're in some rudimentary code, but it shouldn't take too long for me to figure it out. Well, the more I think about it, the less I trust them. Just let me handle it, Miss Atron. You don't want to dirty yourself with the details. Just know that you shouldn't waste any more time worrying about it. Nah, I don't think you should worry about George Mack at all. Dinkins, 
What are you thinking, son? Don't give up the ball. Let her fly, man. Oh, somebody tell Driscoll to keep the camera still, would you? I'm getting seasick. All right. Now, we play up-tempo here at Atron, and we don't worry about winning or losing. If we play our game, the victories will come. Now, what's our motto? We, we run, run, we gun, gun and we have a lot of fun. fun. All right, then. Let's get out there and mix it up. Oh, just one more thing. You fellas that are wearing those droopy drawers, no. It's time for you boys to grow up and wear a pair of shorts the way they were meant to be worn. Don't punish yourself, son. It wasn't Alex. It wasn't Alex. Alvarado, burn a calorie for me, would you? We got a ball game to win. Yes, Coach. Hey, 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 Cobart. Look, tell Coach some serious came up and I gotta take care of it, all right? Put on your goggles. Ah, check. We need to test the clarity of GC-12 when combined with 161. Ah, check. Oh, by the way, I'm buying lunch today. I thought we'd go to the salad factory because of the old diet. This solution was mixed last week? Uh, check. Does a salad factory take anything other than cash? A uh, check. Good. Have you seen my super sick? You're probably wondering what that was. It had crossed my mind, yes. Let me assure you that everything is okay. This is not something I need to know about? I don't believe so, no. Everything is fine. Yes. Everything is fine. Terrific. Alex, I'm concerned. You've grown three inches and gained nine pounds in the last eight months. So? So, your body chemistry is significantly changing like most kids your age, and in turn, the GC-161 in your body might have a different reaction. Is it dangerous? In my opinion, no, but we might be in store for some pretty interesting side effects. Alex? Ray? Um, we'll talk later. Yeah, I was eating these at lunch, and out of habit, I saved them for you. Don't you have a game this afternoon? Alex, I'm sorry. I missed the free throw on my own, and I know it wasn't you. How come all of a sudden? Well, a videotape. I saw you show up at the gym after I blew it. To be honest, I never really been Mr. Clutch. The only problem is... We may have to find a new head researcher for GC-161. <laughs> George! 
heard an explosion a few minutes ago. Are you guys okay? <laughs> we're fine. Apparently, a couple of chemicals in the lab were mislabeled, and it created a combustible situation. One of my junior researchers has got a lot of explaining to do. How did you avoid getting hurt? Luck. If George hadn't stepped out to get his checkbook and I hadn't gone off to the men's room, we might not be standing here. I see. But never mind that, Ms. Atron. We've made an enormous discovery over the last several weeks about GC-161. We've realized that when combined with the right compounds, GC-161, well, it's too good to be true. It really is. <laughs> GC-161 is shown to be unusually effective as a spot remover. A spot remover. Coffee, sludge. Even cranberries gets them all out <laughs> without a trace. Interesting. Do tell us more about it. Croissant? No, thanks. I'm on a diet. I've lost 12 pounds in the last two weeks. Well, that makes me feel better. But I don't know, Ray. I mean, you've got your new gym wrap buddies and everything. Maybe we just are drifting apart. I mean, it happens. No, no, maybe it does, but not to us. It's not always going to be easy. Sometimes we got to put in a little extra effort. I still want to be your best friend. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> <laughs> what about your game? Ah, don't worry about it. I'm taking care of business with you, and that's the important thing. Okay. Well, in keeping with our friendship, I have a secret I have to tell you. What do you mean? I'll show you. Shake. Just don't tell Annie. Whoa! Come on, Ray! Oh! Ow, ow! Whoa! Woo this is cool! Hey, hang on, Ray! We're almost there! Woo Ray, snap out of it. I just morphed you. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Man, that was cool. Can you play? <laughs> Definitely. Son, you're already into me for 50 laps after the game for missing warm-ups. I'm sorry, Coach, I had this gastrointestinal problem and... Tell it to the nurse. Right now, we're in the middle of a ball game. Now get the heck out there. Yes, Coach. Uh, one of the best friends a guy could ever have. You too.